the one that I show on the screen right now, I'm curious on your guys' thoughts on that. And and now this isn't necessarily th anything that's changed, uh, but they're really highlighting uh, generating more external traffic through platforms like Google Ads and social media. Uh, so what are what are your thoughts, Stephen? What are you seeing at my Amazon guy in terms of how much external traffic pushes a listing, especially in the beginning? So I actually every year I'll do a like a an algorithm update, like SEO nerfs and buffs, if you will, patch notes, if you will. So I'm going to find my graphic for for the latest one. But but in essence, I have not seen a very big difference between the last couple of years with external traffic plays. Really? Um, so here's my 2021 graphic. If you want to pull that up on screen, Todd. Yep. And, and I'll kind of show you what I've seen over time here. So here's 2021. And if we look for, you know, offsite sales, I gave that a buff back in 2021. And, and I, over time, have continuously nerfed reviews, right? So you can see reviews took a hit back in 2021. Um, I'm just Googling SEO patch notes, my Amazon guy, just to find my own graphics because I've, I've built so much <laughs> content. It's easier to just Google it sometimes. Um, but here's my 2023 one, just for some perspective. Um, and I moved click-through rate up considerably, right? And I'm seeing click-through rate be the fastest way to grow sales on Amazon, but the external uh, sales, uh, which I'm actually not even seeing listed for some reason here. Offside sales, you have it there. Offside, there we go. Um, it's still yeah. pretty static, right around that nine and a half, nine percent marker. I didn't move this for four years on my patch notes. Um, right. and so it's keep, important, but not all important. Yeah, so keep in mind, Nobody really knows. Amazon doesn't even know. Yeah. Anything you see on screen sure. here is totally made up uh, yeah. and it's a finger in the air. But I have access to 400 accounts that I actively manage. One out of every 200 transactions on Amazon goes through my Amazon guy. And so this is our best understanding of what we're seeing today. So having said that, is external traffic good? 100%. You should go get external traffic. If you have a product that can do well on TikTok and you're not hiring TikTok influencers, I think you're crazy. You should jump all over that. But still today in 2024, it's cheaper to advertise directly on Amazon using sponsored products than there is any other platform in the world for an e-commerce brand selling on Amazon. Yep. Well, and sure. it makes sense that Amazon would uh, not necessarily prioritize, but would look favorably upon external traffic because you're taking people that weren't on Amazon and you're bringing them to Amazon, right? Where they're more than likely going to spend money and spend a, a good amount of time. So yeah, like you said, it's like if you're not ha if you don't have some sort of strategy in place for driving traffic off Amazon uh, to Amazon, especially if your product is a good candidate for, you know, going viral via TikTok, for example, then, you know, that's something you should get going ASAP. Yeah. yeah. Now, in the beginning, though, Amazon, I believe, did penalize. Oh, they did. Traffic. Oh, yeah. They penalized you hard. Now, a I didn't that realize that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why, uh, but why, and why is that? Because at least because logically speaking, I would think that wouldn't wouldn't it make sense that it's like, oh, wouldn't they, if anything, give oh, yeah. you more incentive to drive well, external traffic because you're bringing totally people onto yeah, the sure. platform? You would absolutely think that, but the thing is, is it crashed your conversion rate, and when your conversion uh, rate crashed, Amazon went, "Wow, this product totally sucks. Let's you know degrade them in the ranking." Right. Right. So you know, I. I would at at that time I was driving Google traffic. And when I saw my sales go down, I'm like, all right, screw this. Besides, Am Amazon at that time was advertising my product on Google direct mm -hmm. to my to my listing page. So I went, why would I even bother paying for it? Right. Right. So um now that's not to say they've got it right, because yeah, Amazon wants that traffic, but at the end of the day, they don't make money on the traffic that you spend. You need to be converting, right? Yeah. And Steve, and you've got just so much more information about this than I do because I don't launch products. I haven't launched a product in, shoot, maybe seven years now, six years, been selling the same product. So, you know, and I don't run ads. So I'm not even really the guy to talk about this, but I have had an, the opportunity to speak to tons of sellers but Stephen Pope is boots on the ground in their accounts. What do you think about that? So I have uh, 
an opinion that traffic is more important than conversion. Mm -hmm. And and the reason I feel that way is because Amazon has already solved for conversion, right? Mm -hmm. An average listing today is 10% conversion. Now, if you were going to try and double your sales, it would take you seven times the resources to double your conversion rate than to just simply double your, your traffic. Right. And, and so because yeah. that statement is very defensible, um, I think that any traffic is good traffic, even at the cost of a conversion point loss. But from my experience, I don't typically see a conversion loss when we spike the traffic, even from external sources. Now, having said yeah. that, if you take bad traffic and send it to your Amazon listing, there's no point to that. Right. Yep. If you're buying one cent clicks from a link farm in India, obviously mm-hmm. none of that's going to help you. But if you're targeting legitimate customers who have a legitimate interest in the product and you're using the right keywords or you're using the right demographic targeting on an external play of some kind, uh, I would say that it's going to be favorable. Now, the last thing I'll I'll caveat here is is that even if it is favorable, that doesn't mean the ROI is as good as Mm -hmm. just simply spending an extra $10,000 on Amazon sponsored products. And this is the problem that I've had as an agency. You know, I called my agency my Amazon guy. That's worked out very well for me. And I and I've, you know, 95% of the money I make is all Amazon native brands. But I have a very hard time getting brands to succeed outside of the Amazon realm. And it's because mm-hmm. the RI is just so damn good within Amazon's ecosystem. You don't have to go outside of it. Mm-hmm. So this is why I I always, you know, I look at external traffic and I'm like, yeah, it's good, but you know, unless you're spending 50K a month on sponsored products you haven't hit your diminishing returns yet. 